And then there's that guy. And then there's that guy. We all know that guy. If you don't, then it's probably you. Nobody wants to be that guy. That guy is the one who tries to date your girlfriend two weeks after you break up. Ladies, that guy is the one who tries to get all up on you from behind. We all know that guy. Then there is the guy who walks the malls thinking he's God's gift to estrogen, but not to be confused with the guy who walks the beaches with a teeny tiny Speedo and a gut hanging down to Australia trying to get your phone number. Yet that guy is the one who always seems to have the uber attractive woman. And you say to yourself, self, and yourself say what? Self, how did that guy end up with her? How in the bluest of blue Hades did that guy end up with her? Chica, who is fine as wine and twice as nice, that's just wrong. Even at a young age, ladies, that guy was acting up. That guy was that little mofo who threw spitballs in your hair when the teacher wasn't looking. And when you turned around and yelled at him, you were the one who got into trouble. Fellas, that guy was the same kid in seventh grade with the full beard and the 16-inch biceps who made fun of you during kickball in Foursquare. Years later, he grows up to be the guy you meet at the club, ladies, whose breath arrives before he does, and a button-down shirt that's two sizes, too small, saying to y'all ladies, <laughs> uh, can I take a picture of you so I can show Santa? Mm. What I want for Christmas. <laughs> What's up, gal? That guy has got to go. He is everywhere. A crime against nature because no one truly, honestly wants to be that guy.